I'd like to thank the organizing committee of this event and Jesus for being in touch with me in regards to the, uh, Bill's role. I appreciate this remembrance of Bill's heroic actions. I too would like to pay homage to Bill's role in liberating 300 prisoners of war. Since Bill passed in 1958, let me express my thankfulness to you. Bill would have truly appreciated this honor. What strikes me most is this event is exercising the most human right of remembrance. Bill was not spoken about in my home other than his service in the Army. My grandmother Elsie, who had supported Bill in his political beliefs, had passed on. My father, much younger than Bill, had to go through a McCarthy-era loyalty committee to get a job, and he made little comment about the past. It's only the last 10 years or so that I've been aware of Bill's role in the International Brigades. Professor Helen Graham and I have been sharing documents regarding Bill over the past few years, and I've much appreciated Helen's generosity and insights. But I also appreciate the courage and the spirit of the Spanish people's defense of the Republic. I learned much about Bill through the ALBA collection at the NYU Tenement Library. That's the Abraham Lincoln Brigade Archives at New York University. Uh, Irvin Goth, a comrade who was with Bill at the fort, was interviewed with, about Bill, and this is available as a DVD through the ALBA collection. Bill was a member of the veterans of the Abraham Lincoln Brigade, and they do, to this day, still have a website at alba-valb.org. After freeing the prisoners, Bill and Irving and three Spaniards acted as a rear guard. They were caught in a coarse fire and they ran to the beach and swam through phosphorescent rich incandescent waves. Over the next few days they were able to return to the Nationalist lines. This image of swimming for his life, exhausted, leaving an incandescent wake that snipers were taking shots at, stayed with me. Much of Bill's later life was in the company of poets, from W.H. Auden to Jack Kerouac. Bill was particularly taken with the poetry of Pablo Narada, and I'd like to quote a bit from Narada's poem, Poet's Obligation which begins, To whoever is not listening to the sea this Friday morning, to whoever is cooped up in a house or office, factory or woman, or street or mine, or harsh prison cell, to him I come, and without speaking or looking I arrive and open the door of his prison. It ends. So through me, freedom and the sea. One day the dictator's bones will be disinterred from the Valley of the Fallen and moved to wherever such bones are kept. Then the crypts of silence will be opened and we can all reclaim our right of remembrance unimpeded. Please know that the people's defense of the Spanish Republic was a gift to the world that inspired many to join its, in its cause, including Bill. And for that, we thank you. A friend of mine is offered to play a song that's at the end of a new release um, regarding Pete Seeger's earlier songs of, of, of Spain. And it's a case where this is called Taste of Ashes, and it's being performed by Jack LaCitra, a good friend. Thank you so much, and thank you for remembering Bill and his heroic actions. This bloody earth, the enemy remains the same. The war goes on, but the front has changed. And one day, 
This war will be but a memory in time. And the wounds will heal in the shattered land. And our country will one day be free. Defeat will be. But history, their example, our legacy. One day the world will be at peace. And what might have been will one day be. One day this war will be but a memory in time. And the wounds will heal in the shattered land. In our country We'll one day be free Defeat will be a history Their example Our legacy And one day the world country will one day be free.